Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen toured a hospital built in Guatemala with Taipei's help and in remarks emphasized the ties between Taiwan and the Central American country in areas such as health, economy and trade. She also thanked Guatemala for its support during increasing tensions with China. Last year, when we experienced China's military maneuvers, Guatemala immediately defended justice for Taiwan. In all international instances, President Giamatte supports Taiwan's international participation. Tsai also announced that both countries had signed a cooperation agreement that will expedite donations and aid from Taipei to Guatemala City. Guatemalan President Alejandro Jaimate said the friendship between Guatemala and Taiwan was unbreakable. For Guatemala, this is a very significant visit to renew and reaffirm the total support of the Republic of China Taiwan, reiterating the recognition of Taiwan as an independent nation and as the only and true China with which democracy democratic values are shared, of mutual respect, and historical bonds of brotherhood. Guatemala and Belize are the last two countries in Central America who maintain relations with Taiwan. El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Honduras ended diplomatic ties with Taiwan in 2018, 2021, and 2023, respectively. It was obvious that the president traveled to Guatemala to strengthen relations. It's a win-win situation for Taiwan and Guatemala. Taiwan needs to keep the support of those 12 countries in the region. And for Guatemala, it is important to keep the assistance Taiwan has provided in many activities and investments. Since opening its doors in February, the $22 million hospital in southwestern Guatemala has helped increase the number of patients treated. This hospital in Chamaltenango is the result of the economic and technical cooperation of Taiwan, of its government, which accompanied all phases of construction. Taiwan now has 13 formal diplomatic allies, half of which are small countries in Latin America and the Caribbean. For Eugenia Sagastume in Guatemala City, Guatemala, Cristina Caicedo-Smith, VOA News.